Now, beloved within the uh, church today, beloved in the church today, and this is for all Christian denominations. This is just not a, a sermon for seven Adventist Christians. The last one of the last couple of sermons, I mentioned that I would not be preaching many sermons here on out, particularly the uh, seven Adventist Christians or my denomination, because the message is largely going out to other denominations now. That probation is closing on the seven Adventist corporate structure. I mentioned that in my sermon called the closure basin for the corporate structure. Well, beloved, this sermon title today is on faith. Faith is seen many times in which we uh, take a stance to what we believe in because we believe there's a second, a better, a better, a better day coming for us if we uh, believe in um, the future, future things being future days being brighter than they are today. So we allow ourselves to get slapped in the face and mocked and called names because we believe there's a heaven and we believe that we're not going to bow to bail because there's a heaven to, uh, to the gain and hell to shun. Faith can be seen when we um, um, go to college and we don't, have, we don't have much faith funds. I mean, we don't have much financial aid. We don't have much money. We go to college anyway to finish our education. Faith can be seen and when we um, return time off and we have no money, we actually give money that we could use to eat to support the local, our local church, because we believe that God will take care of all our needs, supplies all our needs. Faith is when we follow the health message, even though we know that there's COVID all around this place and we don't know what's going on. We follow the health message anyways. That, that's how faith can be seen. Let us pray. Most Congressman, Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for one of mercy and blessings. As I preach this message today on faith, please allow some word through um, your spirit to move through my lips and encourage your people. In Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, turn with me, beloved, in your Bibles on this Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon. Turn to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews. Now, Hebrews is the New Testament, right before 1 John. Mm -hmm. Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds are framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a merciful sacrifice and gain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaking by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he had pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he's a warder of them that, 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 that diligently seek in verse 6. Verse 7, by faith Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into the place which he should after receive for inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, and not knowing whither he went, by faith he sojourned in the land of promise as a in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him, of the same promise. For we look for a city which have foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Verse 10. So, beloved, we see all these examples of faith. My favorite examples of faith in that chapter so far is the faith of Noah, how Noah was told in a dream and a vision that the world comes to an end by a flood. He was warned of that. He was warned of that. And he made a, he built an ark for 120 years warning the people of an impending judgment. And then at the very day, the very, the, the very day of the flood, he got on the ark and the, and the, and the door was closed by the angel. That, that's, that's faith. That's an example of faith that came to pass. Because of a dream he had, the dream came to pass, and that showed him that um, the world was destroyed by a flood. The next favorite example in that chapter is how Enoch was translated. He walked with God on a constant basis, and God was his friend. It was not in a vision or in a trance, but it was in the daily common walks of life. Also, beloved, within the uh, Christian church, 
My next favorite statement in this chapter about faith is um, um, Abel. How Abel, he, he knew that it was wrong to put fruit upon the altar. Um, he knew that God wanted a lamb because a lamb was what God required. See, Cain had a sacrifice, but Cain put, bought his, the best of his works, the best of his, the, the best of his uh, designs. But Abel said, no, I'm going to bring a lamb because a lamb is what God is. It's almost like a Sabbath and Sunday issue today, beloved, when the Christian church. God requires a seventh day because of Sabbath, not Sunday. Sunday is from a pagan tradition. It's from bear worship. It's from the Philist Philistine, the Philistine worship. Um, it's, 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 not, it's not God's religion. God's religion is the last day of the week. Uh, man's religion is the first day of the week. It honors the sun and the heavens. It's evolutionary. It's paganism. And uh, so we see Sunday sacredness in our Sunday sacredness in our world today, um, even quasi Sunday sacredness in some of our Sabbath keeping churches or denominations today, um, movements. We see um, celebration of style worship, ecumenicalism in a lot of our churches, which is Cain's worship. We see jewelry being um, worn by many of our new converts and current converts in church today, and a downplaying of standards and stating that we can't overcome our sins. We see um, all types of things, and that's Cain's. That's Cain's uh, best work. But Abel said, no, I'm going to eat a vegan diet. I'm going to go to church on the Sabbath. I'm going to do aggressive evangelism. I'm going to read my Bible and pray. I'm going to resist temptation. That was Abel's worship. Abel did exactly what God asked him to do. And so Abel, Abel's, Abel's sacrifice was accepted, while Cain was not accepted. Cain's sacrifice was not accepted, but Abel was. Also, my last favorite uh, uh, statement in, in the book of Hebrews that deals with the, the object of faith, and really is the, toward the beginning of the chapter, it says, uh, through faith we understand that the worlds are framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which up to appear. And that piggies backs off of Psalm 30, verse 6 to 9. By the word of the Lord, the heavens made all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Um, this means that while intelligent design is a wonderful scientific principle that um, brings, in, um, brings in ideas of the fact that um, there could be an intelligent designer, but does not necessarily uh, pinpoint a creator who spoke the world into existence, um, and, and, and that our world is not coming within thousands of years, um, our world is not created within a thousand of years in theistic evolution, but on, on, a, on a weekly cycle, six-day creation, and the world is 6,000 years old. In this states, the, the, the creation, the world, the world was created by God's word, means the world was created in six little days, God rested on the seventh day, and it was created by the word of the Lord, by his thought. The animals were created by his thought, the plant light, the, 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 the trees, flowers, and grass, the um, the dirt, the, the, the sun, moon, and stars were, were breathed by the word of God, and um, the earth was made by the word of God. And humans, God bent down the dust, he formed man of the clay, breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Right there, beloved, that lets us know that we have an intelligent designer, just not a theistic evolutionary model of an intelligent desire. designer. We were generated in six year old days, and God rested in the seven. God doesn't need six. Thousand years to create us, he could take he can he just think us into existence, beloved. But he decided to think us into existence. He decided to bend down the dust and breathe into our nostrils the breath of life, and we become a we became a living soul. So that is that is uh, the principle that God is looking for. So He's looking for faith. We we don't know how we got we don't know how we can drive in cars every day and not. Have the car break down as it takes faith. We don't know how we can go into buildings and the buildings not crash on us. We don't know how we can get up in the morning and go to sleep in the morning and be safe. It takes faith. We are creatures of faith. Um, the just shall live by faith. What does it mean to be just? It means to be covered by God's grace. But the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Faith. What is faith? The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things 
not yet seen. So that means the just shall so live by the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. So when, it's, when, it, when the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17, For the Lord himself set us in heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, then, and dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which alive remain shall be caught unto me the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord in the air. That's what was the second coming. That takes faith to believe in that. That makes us just and we believe that. This, this, this second coming hope purifies us even as we are purified. Revelation 1, service and behold, he come with clouds, and every eye shall see him. So the earth being ruined to and fro, like a drunkard in the cottage, and being destroyed by, by, by natural disasters, and God coming in the clouds, it takes faith to believe that. And I say I, I, I hold the faith in believing in that. And that, that this scripture also lets us know that uh, um, verse 10 of, of Hebrews 11, for he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. That is the new Jerusalem. That's the kingdom that's going to come down to this earth at the second coming. So at the, at the I'm sorry, at the third coming. Um, but that's the kingdom that we're going to be caught up in the air to meet the Lord in the air at the at the last trump. And that's the kingdom that's going to come at the second at the, at the third coming, after a thousand years are over, after we judge wicked men, wicked angels for a thousand years. So that kingdom is the real kingdom we're going to. It's not going to be a temporal kingdom out in Israel. That's a false doctrine. That's a false prophecy. So, beloved, it takes faith to believe we need to settle in our hearts that the Bible is true, that the Bible is true, The Bible doctrines are true. Don't believe in postmodernism, beloved. The truth is absolute. Don't believe in that your truth is your truth, my truth is my truth. Your interpretation of truth is your interpretation of truth. Like one, like one guy told me today, your interpretation of truth is your interpretation of truth. My interpretation of truth, my interpretation of truth. No, the Bible is absolute. Sanctify thy word. Thy word is truth. And you shall know as you shall know the doctrine. Whether I speak of myself, whether I speak of another. John 7, 17. That, that God's word is truth. So that, um, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So you shall know the word, and the word shall make you free. So the word makes you free, and the word is truth. Most Congressman and Father, thank you for this day. Thank you all for mercy and blessings. I'm actually saving people in your kingdom. Let them have faith and, and, and accept you as their personal Savior so they can be saved in your kingdom. Let them claim your promise of the, the justice of our faith and that faith is something things hopeful, the evidence things not yet seen. And Jesus Christ, my prayer, man. God bless you, Mary, not the family.